Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to upcycle a wooden table. This is a good quality wooden table which just needs a bit of updating and we'll be doing that and eventually at the end of the video it will be looking like this, fantastic. What you're going to need is time because this process will take five to seven days because we have to wait for things to dry. And you might need some rubber gloves, these are optional. You'll need some sandpaper. We'll be using 80 grit and 120 grit. The higher the number, the finer the sandpaper. And you'll need a sanding block or a sanding machine. You'll need some sugar soap, a bucket and a sponge, possibly some masking tape. You'll need some good quality paint brushes. You'll need some chalk paint. Some chalk paint wax and some Danish oil and lint-free cloths. And you'll also need some tea bags to make a lovely cup of tea at the end of the video. It's really important to prep all the surfaces that you're gonna be treating. So first of all, we're gonna take some sugar soap, put that in a bucket and fill that with hot water. And this table is particularly dirty and grimy. So before we actually do any sanding, we're just going to give it a really good scrub just to get rid of any dirt, grime, grease, blobs of food, anything like that that is indented into the wood. You can already see the dirt coming off. So this is just giving it an initial prep before we do any sanding. I've managed to separate the top of the table from the legs. Make sure you sugar soak the legs as well, basically anything that you're going to be treating. Once you've cleaned the table and the legs with your sugar soap and your sponge, you then need to clean that off with some fresh water. You don't need too much, but just dip your sponge in fresh water and give that a nice clean. Just wipe that off and get rid of the sugar soap residue. Let that all dry out. Then take your sandpaper. We're going to start with 80. Going to use this electric sander. And just start sanding the sides of the table first. This table's had a lot of heavy use. There's lots of little indentations, little spiky bits of wood sticking out. There's a few little kind of holes in it. So we're just going to give it, give it a decent sand just to get rid of any rough edges. If you can lift the table to an outside area, it'd be much better. You don't really want to do this sanding indoors because this dust will get everywhere. And ideally you'd wear a face mask for this. Not so bad if you're outside. And I thought I'd better just help out and not just let my wife do the entire thing. <laughs> now sanding the top of the table. This will get rid of a layer of the varnish and also start sanding down the surface of the wood. This part of the process is pretty therapeutic. So this is all part of prepping before we do the Danish oil. Nice smooth long strokes with the sander. And quick save the fly. Quick fly, you're gonna get sanded. All life is precious even the fly. And that reminds me of that classic line in Enter the Dragon. Well, what do you know? A human fly. Oh, actually, while my wife is sanding the top of this table, we did actually upcycle a Welsh dresser. And that looked really cool as well. There's a link above now about how to do that. That just completely modernised it. the top of the table all done then take a vacuum cleaner and just vacuum up all that dust once you've vacuumed that all off and wiped it away with a cloth you can then go to your finer sandpaper 
This will give it a much lighter sand, much smoother. And we're going to be using 120. Again, you can try different variations. For another project, we use 240, which is much finer. But this table needs a really good sand. Make sure you do all of the parts which are going to be treated. Again, vacuum and dust off anything excess with a cloth. Then take your sponge and your sugar soap and give the entire table a good clean with the sugar soap. That just gets off any excess dust, gives it another good clean, ready for treating with the Danish oil. Make sure you do everywhere that you're going to be treating, all the legs. Then remember to clean that with some fresh water and then dry that off. Once it's completely dry, then take your Danish oil and a lint-free cloth. Make sure you give this a really good shake. Now this part is very satisfying when you're treating wood. This Danish oil is magical stuff. Just gives it a really nice look. Helps protect it, but it just makes it look fabulous and it smells fabulous as well. And just to let you know while you're watching this, we will actually be applying two coats of Danish oil. So let's get the first coat completely on, on the top half of the table and the sides. This Danish oil really is magical stuff. It helps protect hardwoods and softwoods, and it helps bring out the natural grain of any timber. It also provides kind of a nice gloss sheen on the top, and it just looks really good. And whilst it's drying, it smells fabulous. And as I've already mentioned, we will have to apply two coats of this Danish oil and we'll have to wait 72 hours for the second coat. And as I mentioned earlier, this stuff smells fantastic. Not as good as uh, fish and chips smell, you know, things like that. Or the smell of cut grass. Daisy's wondering what is going on, why have you got the table outside? Later on, Daisy will be helping us when we bring the table inside. So this is really coming on. Now we've got a part here on this table. This obviously is very worn, where people have been sitting against this side. Obviously the table must have been up against a wall and everyone was sitting on this side. So this just needs a bit of extra treatment with the Danish oil. Just rub that in. Do the old rubber dub dub. already looking miles better. Once we've finished treating this with the first coat, we're gonna carry the table inside. There we go, and it's already looking fabulous. Then we're gonna put some dust sheets down. And then 72 hours later, once that Danish oil has dried, we're then going to put a complete another coat of Danish oil on the top surface and the sides. And Daisy is much happier now because she can watch what is going on and start playing. Now I mentioned the ingredients earlier with the chalk paint and the chalk wax. We're going to be 
treating the legs with the chalk paint and the chalk wax. Obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just treat the top half with the Danish oil. But we're just going to do that just to modernise the whole table. It's already looking fantastic on the top. Danish oil really is fabulous stuff. And Daisy's playing with a dust sheet. <laughs> I think she's trying to help, maybe. Actually, I think Daisy is thinking, look, this is my table, this is my home, this is where I lay underneath and I feel protected. And what are you doing with my table? It's my table. Yes, it is. Daisy, we're just updating it and we're modernising it for you. And then you can go back and lay underneath it again once it's all finished. I don't think she's convinced. <laughs> She just likes to know what's going on in the world. Well, same here really. Lots of stuff going on in the world at the moment. Not good. That table's looking ace. You don't actually have to let the Danish oil dry before we start treating and painting the legs. But if you're going to be using the table, you need to make sure that you let that Danish oil second coat just nicely kind of soak in and leave that for 72 hours before you start using the table in anger. Well, for your dinner and breakfast. Then take your chalk paint, give that a really good shake. And then also give it a stir with a nice clean stick. Then take your good quality paintbrush. And with the chalk paint, this requires two coats, like the Danish oil. So just get the first coat on all the legs and the sides kind of on the undersides there, all the exposed wood that we want to modernise and update. You can see just there on the side of that table, there's a knot. You can buy some special treatment to put on the knots. That just stops any paint bleaching when you paint over it. It's called like knot treatment paint. So get one complete coat of chalk paint on, on all the legs and the sides. Then wait 24 hours to let that all dry fully. Then apply another coat of chalk paint. You'll only need to apply a second coat of chalk paint to your table legs and that will look absolutely fantastic. Once you've done that, then wait 24 hours for the paint to fully dry. Then take your chalk paint wax and a brand new good quality paintbrush. You can put the chalk paint wax on a radiator if it's the winter, that just helps it be a bit more pliable. Obviously you don't want to melt it, but it just makes it a bit easier to get onto your paintbrush. Then just start applying the chalk paint wax to the chalk paint areas. Now this chalk paint wax is really good because it just gives it a really nice sheen, but also it helps protect it.
And it's taken about a week from start to finish to upcycle this old table and make it look absolutely fantastic. And we're just about to have the big reveal. And then this is what the table ends up looking like. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really pleased with that. It's got a lovely looking surface, lovely modernized legs. Just looks like a brand new table compared to what it was at the beginning. I tell you what, all that hard work watching my wife do most of the work has made me thirsty. It's time for a lovely cup of tea. Hello Daisy, new chair. There's a video in the top right about how to upcycle your Welsh dresser. And there's a video in the top left about how to keep your curtains super smooth on the curtain rails. That is a top tip. And in the bottom left, how to remove mold from silicon without any scrubbing. Again, that is a top tip. I hope that video was useful to you. Cheers.